we will learn to convert this data into this dynamic Excel chart. We will use a drop down list to achieve this. How do we do it? Let's see. So here's the data again. What we are going to do to build up a chart, a dynamic Excel chart, is first we are going to create a drop down list based on the countries. Now this data is in terms of unit sales. So for US, in the month of January, there is a sale of 1,440 units. Similarly for Canada, it's 167. For UK, it's 520. What we want to do is build a chart where we can select the country, the name of the country, and the chart will update for the monthly sales automatically. First thing that I will do is create a drop-down list with the names of these countries. So let me type select country. And in this cell, let me highlight it. Yellow. Okay. So in this cell will be our drop-down list which will be linked to the chart. How do you create a drop-down list? Very simple. Click on data, data validation, click on list, click on this button, select your range which is the names of the countries in this case, click here again and just click OK. Now your drop down list is ready. The next thing is we need the names of the months, so let's do that. You can type them in like this. Or alternatively, you can just link, link them to the months that you already have in the data. So what I did is I just copied the first cell and then pasted it all the way down till December. And this automatically linked to the cell for the respective month. Okay, the next thing is unit sales. This is the data that really matters. This is going to be dynamic and this is going to be based on the selection from this drop down list. So, what I can do is apply a SUMF formula. How does SUMF work? It's equal to SUMF. Packets open. Now you can see it gives you some guidance there. The first thing is the range. So, I'm going to use the countries, the names of the countries as the range and then I'm going to freeze by pressing F4 I am freezing the range as you can see the dollar signs here comma what are we looking for which country are we looking for this is the dynamic item so I'm going to click here this cell K3 whatever the result will be our selection will be our criteria for the selection of the name of the country again I'm going to freeze this locked cell referencing then comma and then this one gives you the cell the sum range so for the month of January it will be this cell to this cell now I am going to freeze this reference as well but it will be partial freeze I won't freeze everything because we will go down and we need the respective numbers for each for each of the months here so what I'm going to do is just freeze the is just freeze the columns but not the rows so I press F4 twice actually thrice and now you can see there's a dollar sign before C and a dollar sign before G so we have freeze the columns but the rows are free let me close and as we have selected nothing here the answer is zero but let's check it quickly so if I select US it gives me 1404 if I select Canada, it gives me 167, right? Now just copy and drag this formula down. As when, when you see the cursor changes to this plus sign, you can drag it down till December. Again, checking as we've selected Canada, are these numbers correct? Yeah, they look correct. So half of our job, in fact, most of our job is done. We have linked this set of data to a drop-down list and, and the unit sales are linked to the data set. So the next step is actually making the chart, which is very, very simple. So what I'm going to do, select this, 
So we have the month and unit sales. And click on insert and click on chart. So there are some options here for charts. Let's go with a uh, Let's go with a trending line because this is a monthly data. It's better to show a trend. There you go. We just click on this and we have our chart ready. Let me move this chart over here. And now let's see, does this work? Yes, it does work. Now I'm going to make some more changes. First thing is I want to add data labels here so that we know exactly what is the unit sale for each of the months. So I right click on, a, on the line, on the line graph, and then I click on add data labels. And there you go. You have the unit sales. Again, if you want to change the country, it should change with it. And we can see it's working. One more thing I want to do is the chart alone does not tell us which country it is. So I'm going to use another technique in the source data. Remember, this is the data that the chart is linked to. So what I'm going to do is in this title, I want to change it into a formula. And my formula would be is equal to inverted commas because when you insert inverted commas Excel treats the item as text additionally I need to use I need to use the ampersand yes this is the ampersand what it does is adds um, a different sets of data you will see what I'm talking about in a moment and I'm going to add another space with inverted commas and then again I have to add an ampersand and now I'm going to link this back to our drop down again. So we are going to use the drop down again. Press enter. And now you can see you have the name of the country here as well. And as soon as you have it here, you have the chart updated as well. Now let's check if this is working. Change it to Germany. Yes, sure enough. We have the title of the chart changing as well. So this is done. What we will do now is I want to remove these lines. So just click on these horizontal lines and just click delete because um, you don't want to put a lot of information in charts. Actually, you can also delete the y-axis because you already have the numbers uh, showing up here as uh, as data labels. So you don't need the y-axis. You probably still need um, you know your months, but if if the people who are going to look at this chart already know that this is a monthly chart, you can even delete this information. And this will be your chart. But let's keep the, uh, the months here for now. Now we have uh, this Excel chart for all of our countries, but maybe we need one more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add total. So maybe you want to look at the total sales for all the countries each month. So I'm just going to sum these. Um, and it is. And now you have totals for each month as well. But you can see your drop down list does not include because our original reference did not include this. And now you still need to include this total column in this drop down range. So, what I'm going to do, uh, go back to the sum, click on the sum, data, data validation, and as you can see, my source only includes up to uh, Japan. I'm going to increase it to include total. So, I have total now, but I still have to do one more thing. So if I select total, you see all of this becomes zero because I have not updated my sum formula. So again, if you press F2, you will see your range does not include the total column. Just increase it and just press enter. And there you go, you have January. And then you want to drag it down again 
to have the results for all of the months. And there you go. And you see, since we used formulas, we linked everything, automatically the title is also showing the units total. So this was a simple example of converting data, raw data, into a dynamic chart, which is, um, um, you know, we, we use the help of a drop-down list, and it changes as soon as we click on the country that we are looking for. So I hope this uh, video helped you. You found some valuable information there. If you did, click like and subscribe to my channel for more fun and informative Excel training videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.